Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we've got an automated video slider. As you can see on the left there it's auto playing a video as it rolls around and it's switching videos and auto playing the next video. And you can roll over, you can unmute it, you can make it full screen if you want to like any other YouTube video. And every 10 seconds, it's going to roll around to the next video. It's going to pause when I've got my mouse on there. Really easy to do. We've actually got to download a free plugin for this today. The folks over at Divya Life are giving away their short code plugin at the moment. Um, we're June 15th, 2022, and you get it from free. So go ahead and I'll put this URL down below the video, obviously. Go ahead and get this plugin if you want to do this today. Once you've got it, go ahead and install it. And once you've got it installed, activated and installed, in your Divi library, what it does, it gives you your little art library items, a little short code. And this will enable us to build anything into a slider. We can just save rows, sections, whatever you want and you can build them into a new slider. I'm going to use embedded videos for this today. I'm going to mute them and auto play them. It's really easy to do. So let's get started. Let's go to our page here. I'll enable the visual builder. Once loaded, I'm going to go down. I'm simply going to delete this module here. Okay, so I've got a section, the blue tab, with a row in it with two columns, the green tab, now the first thing I want to do is actually create some embedded videos that will auto play to play in our video slider here. So I'm going to add a code module, hit the little dark button to add a module, Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build any site. I'm going to use the little code module today to embed a video, there it is right there, simply going to left click on it. Okay, what I'm going to do is go over to YouTube and get a video embed. For anybody that doesn't know how to embed a YouTube video, simply go to the YouTube video that you want to embed. Go down to the actual player controls here and you'll find share underneath. Hit the share button and the first little tab there is embed. Just click on that and it'll give us our embed code right here. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. If you want to start it at a particular time or, or place, you can put your time in there. If you don't want to show the controls, you can uncheck that. I recommend leaving that open because that way they can bring the volume back up when we mute it and also get it full screen. So I've copied that. Now we can go back to our code module and simply paste that code in there. And there we have it. There it is. I want my videos to actually auto play though. And to make them auto play, we've got to modify this code slightly. So what we want to do, here's the actual URL of the video between the inverted commas there, right on the end, in this case the S there, I'm going to put a question mark. I'm going to say auto play equals one and I'll put this code down below for anybody that wants to copy and paste it but it's very simple that makes it auto play but as you can hear probably we don't want any sound because to me when things auto play and they play with sound it can be a little bit annoying so let's mute it by adding <laughs> let's just pause this so I'm not talking over the top of myself. Okay, after the autoplay one there, that's got it to autoplay, I'm going to add the and sign and ampersand. And I'm going to say mute, M-U-T-E equals one. And there, as you can see, and as you can't hear, it's actually autoplaying and muting at the same time, which is what I want for my video. Great. So now we've got it made, we can save it. I'm going to save it to my Divi library by clicking on it, going to the module, little round icon just to the left of the trash can there, click on it, save to library, we'll give it a new name. How exciting is that name? 
don't want to save it to the cloud or global I'm just going to save it to the library okay well I'm going to create three more of these and rather I've actually got the YouTube URLs already so I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to change this last little bit on each one that I create just before the question mark that's the actual video code there so let's go in and change those around I've got a couple more like I say there's a code so I'm going to I've got a new code I'm just going to change the code on this one so it's a different video and we've already got our auto play and mute in place I'm going to save this I'm going to save this to my library as video number two same little icon video two and we'll do one more again I'll go back in there and get my third video again I'm just going to replace the video code number there great so if I say this we should now have three videos in our library video three obviously you can make yours more descriptive if you want to once this saves the library I'll show you where it is in the actual library and if you're not sure how to get to your library go down to your dashboard go down to Divi roll down a little bit and here's the library and that's the page I'm looking at here now if I refresh this we should have our new ones in and there we go we got video one two and three and each of those has got a little unique short code so let's start building our slider we'll go back to the page we can delete this module now a little trash can and again we'll add a new module this time I'm gonna add the slider module there it is right there let's delete this second one here and we'll go in the first one I'm actually not going to bother with a title. You can have a title and a button to take them to a specific place or perhaps your YouTube channel or a sub if you want to there. I'm not going to have a title or a button. I just want the video auto playing itself. I've got to delete all this text down here. Now I'm going to put the short code in there. So I'm going to go back out to the layouts there. Here's our oh, it's video number three. Let's start with number one. 1082, 1083, 1085. Control C to copy. I go back and Control V to paste it in there. And there's our first one. I don't want any background in there. So I'm going to take that little greeny blue color away. And I've got too much space top and bottom. I'm going to take any padding away there as well so that it's not quite so much space there and that should level up this video with our other blurb there so I'm going to get out of the actual slide itself back into the main slider settings I'm going to go to design I'm going to go down to spacing and I'm going to make sure there's a zero in the padding at the top and also a zero at the bottom there that's better that's more in line now with our little blurb module on the right there great so that's working okay well it gets easier from here what we got to do now we've already got our other two videos in there we'll save our changes so let's go back to the content I'm going to clone this twice little square boxes to clone just left click I'm going to go into the second one we've already got a short code in there if we look at our layouts we've got 82 83 and 85 there so we don't need to remake all of these slides we can just change this one from 82 83 and the next one we're going to do 85 so we'll save that one go into the next one change this one to 85 we should have three different videos there okay and of course I want this to automate this video I want it to roll between each video during a certain time period 
So we want to make sure we're back in the main slider settings, not the slide settings. So we'll save this back in the main slider settings. To make sure it's going to automate, let's go over to design, down to animation. And there we've got automatic animation. My default is turned off. If you don't see this, chances are you're in one of your slides. Because if you go into a slide over to design, down to the bottom, there's no animation. So if you can't find it, chances are you're in your slide. Make sure you're in your slider settings. That question always comes up when I do these videos. Okay, so we're going to animation. I'm going to turn automatic animation on. The default is it's going to roll around every seven seconds or 7,000 milliseconds. Let's make mine say 10. So it's 10 and 1,000 as it's milliseconds, which will be 10 seconds. I'm going to leave that on off. That way, when they put their mouse on it on the other end, on the front end, it'll pause or it won't roll over to the next one so they can watch it or click on it or do what they need to do, interact with it. Great, so if we've done everything right now, we should be good to go. Let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. So there we have it, guys. There's our automated video slider with our YouTube videos there, and like I say, they're on autoplay and they're muted, so they're not going to annoy you. And it's going to roll around every 10 seconds to the next video and start playing it. And of course, you can add a lot more than I've done here. Make it your own. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.